It's been nearly 50 years since 65-year-old Floyd Orr set his high school record for the shot put in track and field. On my 65th birthday, I bought myself a shot put. That's when Orr started training for the shot put and discus throw for the Kansas State Senior Olympics. I kind of anticipated possibly a bunch of old guys with Bermuda shorts and black dress socks on hanging out on walkers. But that was not the scene once Orr stepped foot on the track. <sighs> once I got to the facility and saw who was throwing, man, I got, I ran into some national competitors. After only three months of training, Orr placed first in shot put, which qualifies him for the National Senior Olympics in Birmingham, Alabama next year. He spends four days a week lifting weights and practicing techniques with his coach. We can't avoid the aging process but there's really no need to encourage it. He says at his age, it's not always easy to train, but that's still no excuse. Do it so you can do it. Makes you healthier, you feel better, you live longer. It hurts, but it hurt when I was 17 years old too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. That was Russell Jones reporting. But the man, the myth, the legend, Floyd <laughs> Olympian Orr, sitting with us this morning. <laughs> wow. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, this, this is fun. A, a good friend told me about your story. I had to share it. You're from Chickasha, and you really are proving that you can do anything that you set your mind to at any age. It uh, doesn't need to be a, a limiting factor. No, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It hurts a little more at the older we get, but it, it's... It's that way, yeah. And it's worth it. It's this absolutely has been a great journey worth it. For you. Absolutely worth it. Yes, it's fun. It's good. fun. My wife and I are having a good time doing this. Good. Yeah. And tell me, so you threw shot put in high school 50 years ago. 47, 47 years ago. To be exact. Excuse <laughs> me. 47. But you must have been pretty good to think that you know, all these years later, decades later, you could possibly pick it back up again. I was blessed with attending a small school in Kansas, a small high school. Mm -hmm. And in a small school, you have to participate in sports if they have sports, uh, just, just to field a team. So I got to do things as an athlete that so many guys, uh, 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 athletes, don't get to do that or better than I was because I was in a small school. Well, I lettered in four sports in the small school. Another blessing was I met my wife there. Oh, wow. And uh, in track, I threw the shot put and discus and ran and did everything that we had to do to keep a track team going. In one of our, uh, in a, uh, uh, Reunion, high school reunion, my wife and I, some few years ago, she found out, or we found out, that my shot put record was still at the little high school. Seriously, you still hold it? I still have the record. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it. Um, and was that the catalyst for you jumping back in to That this? was that and my wife telling me that I should do it I, I you know I wasn't sure exactly what I was getting into like like I had said before mm -hmm. I wasn't sure whether I was going to be throwing against a bunch of guys in Bermuda shorts and black dress socks and sure uh -huh. and uh, wasn't sure whether I could do it or not so for my 65th birthday this year in June I bought myself a shot put threw around in the yard a little bit and measured it 47 year old technique wasn't very good and i wasn't very satisfied with how far i threw either <laughs> so you had to get better and you did i had to i measured and then researched and found out that my throws were relatively competitive more research there's uh, uh usatf is the track and field national organization for track and field people for all ages including the masters. Mm -hmm. We like to call ourselves masters and okay. not seniors. Yeah, it sounds cooler. And then the NSGA is the National Senior Games Association, National Senior Olympics, held every other year coming in June of 2017. In Alabama. In Alabama uh -huh. is the Senior Olympics. And so yeah. you've qualified for that? By placing fourth in a sanctioned meet, or first through fourth in a sanctioned meet, every state has a sanctioned in a, a state meet, that qualifies you in that event to participate in the nationals. 
Okay. And tell me, what have you learned about yourself in this journey? And what would you tell others who are sitting at home thinking, gosh, you know, what an inspiration. I would like to pick up this new hobby or pick up an old one that I did all these years ago. What have you learned about yourself? And what would you tell others who are maybe wanting to embark on, on the same kind of journey as, as you are right now? See your doctor first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, be smart about it. Yeah. Okay. See be if you're smart. fit to do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, set goals. Have fun. Yeah. Don't push yourself too hard. But uh, the big point is actually is honestly see your doctor. I can't do what I could do when I was 17, mm -hmm. but I can do what I can do. I when we retired five years ago, I met uh, Sensei Burris and and. Coach Miller at USA Stars and more, and I trained there, but that was just general fitness and, and some martial arts and boxing and such. Sure. But when we found out about the shot put, they said, well, these guys are national champions and national trainers, so they said they felt like they could probably bring me into some kind of shape. But well, I absolutely love it. I love your story. Thank you so much for coming on. We'll make sure to follow your progress and your journey to the Senior Olympics. Thank you for having me. Yep.